figure shows the detail of the parts of a jib and cotter joint. Assemble these parts correctly and then draw to scale 1 is to 1 its following views. A. Front view, upper half in section. B. Right side view. C. Top view. Print title and scale used. Give 6 important dimensions. So in this we have <coughs> jib and cotter assembly, right? So now in this we have this fork end, right? It is like this. See this. So if you see fork end in diagram, see it is this way, but there is a gap. Then when you see from the top, there is a cavity. When you see from the side, there is a gap here and here. See dotted here and here, right? Now if you want to see this, this is fork end. See this right 3d object when when you see from the top there is a slot right here see it is it is it is shown like this so we have a fork end now this is i end right so if you see this see this object when you see from the top there is a cavity slot front view you will have dotted line side view you will have dotted line right so fork end i end so after that we'll see jib and cotton so now see the diagram see this this is jib right in in this this part is sloping like you know this part has a slope and it is taper 1 is to 30 now what do you mean by taper 1 is to 30 uh, let's say you have a length 30 so one side is height 4 the other side height would be 3 because taper 1 is to 30 so at at 30 the height will reduce by 1 right the so same way if you see this height how much is this height 76 so if 1 is to 30 then x is to 76 so then x would be 2.5 so the reduction in this would be how much 2.5 so that i will teach you how to use this then we have quarter now when, when you see this cotter, see this from top, it's like this. Now you, you can see this 3D diagram also. Now how it fits? See what we will do, first we will put four ends, right? Then we will put I end, right? After that, this is four end and I end, right? This we will put it like this, so we will make sure that you know this is through and through. After that, we will put this jib, see this, first we will insert jib and then we will slide it to the extreme right, see this, we can't put both in one row, right, so first we will put the jib and we will put it in the extreme right side, then we will insert cotter, see this, so this is our assembly, jib and cotter assembly. All of you got this, first we will take fork end, then I end, then jib, then take it on the right hand side and then you put cotton. So now we will draw 2D diagram of this. So in this sum, first we will draw fork end. So what we will do, first we will take this length 112, right? Now see they have given, now they have given radius 3, so we will take 3, 3 from both the sides and we can draw curve, radius 5, so we, we can take 5, 5 from both the sides and we can draw curve, so that way we can draw this small radiuses. Right, then there is a dotted line over here at a distance of 30. Right now, see over here they have given this section. That means this length can be of this can be of any length. So this section indicates that it can be of any length. Right now, same thing we will do it in top view also.
now we'll see top view so in top view we have one dark line then we have dotted right this portion so we're done with top view then we'll see side view so we have completed front view top view and side view of a fork end now we will insert i end now if you see this i end the length of the over here it is given 30 over here it is how much 27 so automatically there will be a 3 mm gap it will come on its own so when you take 30 from here you you can draw one line then how much is this 35 right you draw a line and you extend this right and inside view there will be a dotted line from top to bottom and will show hatching big because of shaft this is a square shaft generally this is used for square or rectangular shaft this kind of a joint now after drawing fork end and i end now we will insert jib right so now if you see jib see this right height is how much 76 right now if you see there is a taper taper 1 is to 30 hmm? and this side is straight so that straight side will come on this side see i'm drawing with a different chalk so this is 50 right this is how much 50 so that so that much we have drawn now i need to go inside go this side by 10 10 then you have to go up by how much see this it is given 13 so go up by 13 and you draw line from here also you go down by how much 13 and you draw line now we don't know this length see this we don't know this length but we know this taper taper 1 is to 30 and we know this middle length that is 12 so from here you take 12 right and from there you draw one vertical line right now if you see this calculation taper 1 is to 30 so that means at 76 the x will be how much 2.5 so what we need to do see this what we need to do we need to draw it like this so we'll take 1.25 on the right hand side and 1.25 on the left side so this is how your jib would be See this this is 12 right so from here we'll go inside by let's say distance 1.25 and from here we'll go outside by 1.25 so then whatever we will draw so that would be complete slope of 2.5 see this so from center we'll go up and from here we'll take 1.5 this side and from here we'll go down and we'll take 1.5 this side and we will draw we will draw this so we will apply the same logic over here see this over here there is a curve radius 8 so we can take 8 8 and down also there is a radius 8 After drawing this, we need to draw quarter. Now, how much is this? 20. So, if you calculate, this will be 20 only. So, from here, we need to draw straight line. So what is the height of this quarter? It's 106. So, we'll go up by 53, go down by 53. From here, 20. See, from here, 12 will be here. From here, 20 would be here. From here, you go up by 53. From here, you go down by 53. And you draw line. And then you extend this the same slope so you get that part also so you get this quarter also so we are done with front view now we need to see top view and side view so first we will see side view so when you see from that side so 
first you will see this jib and you will see quarter. See, I am doing with a different job. See this, this quarter. Right? So we are done with front view and side view. Now we will see top view. So now when you see from the top, see. So of course now big, uh, this gap is seen, so that will be done. Now there is one more, this, this is flat, so that also we can see, so that will be also done for quarter. Then this, that is also dark, right? Now this portion which you can't see, right? That will be dotted, right? No? This you can't see, so that will be dotted. Then this part which you can't see, that will be also dotted. And see earlier this part was dark, but now you can't see, so that part is also dotted. In this extreme part, right, Jim. This part that will be dark. So you'll have one, two, three dotted line, right? And dark line you'll have one, two, three, and four. Right. So top view would be like this. So now we are done with front view, top view, and side view of jib and quarter. In this sum, we will do upper half in section. So, what we will do? We will draw cutting plane line. Upper half. So, that means we are going to remove only this much. This is cutting plane AA. So, see it will be like this. So, this will be hatched. This will be hatched. This is one part. Right? And this will be hatched in other direction. See this. So what will happen? This will go away. This will become dark. This will be dark. This will be dark. This will be dark. This will remain dotted only. And we'll do hatching in this. Right? And the other portion also, the other part will also get hatched. That will do a different direction. So we are done with front view upper half in section. So in this sum. We will draw front view, upper half in section, top view, right hand side view. We will draw cut plane line. We will show scale 1 is to 1. Then we will draw this table and this first angle method of projection symbol. So now we are done with assembly of jib and cotton joint.